Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Matthew Maley for MatthewMaley.com and I am back on the couch. That's right, Friday night, time for another weekly movie review with yours truly. So, uh, this week I saw a flick that I, I wanted to see when I first heard about it. Then it got horrible reviews, so I kind of fell off on it, kind of slept on it, and uh, boy am I glad I saw it, I'll say that. Um, I, I know a lot of people didn't like it. You, I found out this movie is either people love it or people hate it. And I'm over the love it side. I'm speaking of the movie called Sucker Punch, starring Emily Browning, um, Jenna Malone, um, Abby Cornish, I think. Sorry, I'm looking. Um, Vanessa Hudgens, my, one of my new favorite actresses, Jamie Chung, the uh, absolutely gorgeous woman from uh, Hangover 2 and Real World San Diego, um, as well as Carla, I think it's Gugino, which if you guys watch Californication, which if you don't, you should, probably the funniest TV show up there with Archer, the Boondocks, and South Park, honestly. Um, but she actually played the uh, Hank's lawyer in, uh, in Californication. Um, then there's a little kind of cameo almost by John Hamm and uh, uh, Oscar Isaac, sorry, he, play, he plays uh, Blue in it. But, um, it's a, I actually really liked it. The, the point of the movie is Emily Browning is being abused by her stepfather. And after some family issues involving a death, she is committed to a psychiatric ward. And um, in her attempt to escape the psychiatric ward, she devises a plan um, in order to get out. Now, that sounds all well and good, but it's... That's the most basic way that I could describe it. There's parallel universes, there's World War II, there's the future on some Saturn-looking planet, there's hypnotic dancing that causes people to transmit to other universes. It, it's, it is crazy. Now, that's part of the reason why a lot of people didn't like it. They said the story was too you know, it was impossible to follow or that there really wasn't much of a story. Now, I understand that. A lot of the movie is kind of repetitive in a way because a lot of it is spent going to the next universe or whatever to find these next items. Essentially, she has to find five items in order to escape. And her, as well as the other girls, are trying to do so. Now, I don't want to give a whole lot away simply because... I, I mean, I really did like the movie, and I thought it was cool seeing it. I actually watched it about, like, almost two times. I watched it, like, one and a half times just to because I was that into it. But the most impressive thing about it is the camera work and how it was filmed. There were some shots in it that, in my opinion, were as good as some of the shots in The Matrix or 300 or some of these CGI action scenes that were unlike anything you've ever seen. There was one, one part of it where a bullet is fired out of a handgun and they do a 360 circle around the bullet while it's falling and you can see everything that's going on behind it. It was, it was ridiculous. Plus, what I really like, and usually I'm a, very, I'm a stickler when it comes to things being you know exact and you know, oh, they didn't have those guns back then or this and that. Usually I'm like that, but it was kind of cool watching a group of these chicks rolling through World War II times, one of them with, a, with an M4, one of them with a UMP, one of them with a, with a 590 Remington, like, or I'm sorry, 590 Mossberg, it's a five, 470 Remington, 570 Remington, I don't know Remingtons, I know Mossbergs. Anyway, oh, but it was just really cool, it was cool seeing that, and then, you know, then like in, in another scene, they're way in the future fighting robots. And then another scene, she's fighting this huge, probably 15 foot tall samurai. And it's, it, I know it sounds weird and I know it sounds like, you know, some, some corny fantasy flick. But in my opinion, it, the, the visuals of it were remarkable. Now, my only, my only complaint is some of the acting was, eh, and... You know, obviously Vanessa Hudgens isn't known as being the best act. Did I even mention that she's in it? I might have forgotten that. I apologize. Vanessa Hudgens is in it as well. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that she's a great actor. Emily Browning was pretty good. I'll, I'll give her that. Um, Jenna Malone was pretty good. Abby Cornish was pretty good. Um, 
I personally really like Jamie Chung, but I also think she's, you know, absolutely gorgeous. And that might cloud my judgment a little bit. I mean, mind you, my favorite actress is Eva Mendez. And while she's not the best of actresses, God, she's gorgeous. But, um, I, I, so maybe that's, you know, why you don't really expect much from that, you know, group of actresses. But I thought it actually was pretty solid. My only complaint was the acting in some of the more emotional scenes, some of the sad scenes. I, I, those are the only ones I didn't feel believable, which is interesting and not to sound sexist, but usually action movies with women don't come off that well. With the exception of Angelina Jolie and Wanted and Angelina Jolie and Salt. Wow. Yeah, probably with the exception of those two. And maybe Angelina Jolie and Tomb Raider. It's really with the exception of Angelina Jolie. Um, I'm not big into female, you know, action movies like that. Because usually, and again, not to sound sexist, but from my experience of watching them, they don't know how to handle a gun properly. They don't know how to do combat scenes properly. They don't know how to, you know, take things and make it realistic. Where that's one thing I was really impressed with. In this movie, every single one of the women, they were doing it. Like, I, I was completely believing all of the motions, all of the reloads, all of the sword swings and the hand-to-hand -hand combat and all that. It was impressive. Plus, it was cool, you know watching them do it in these crazy latex outfits or these lingerie outfits or all that stuff. So honestly, I really liked it. Um, I'm going to give it a solid four stars. When I first watched it, I said, you know what, that's a four and a half star movie. Then I rewatched it and I guess it lost a little bit of its luster. Um, the visuals are still incredible, but at the end, I almost feel they tried to do too much with the ending. Um, and I'm not saying it's not a good ending. It is an ending that actually kind of makes you think. It actually, you know, has more to it. But some people that I read online were, were comparing it with Fight Club and saying that it, it has as much meaning to it as Fight Club and that it's going to become a cult classic like Fight Club. I'm not going to go that far. Fight Club is one of my top ten favorite movies of all time. And Fight Club was, had a lot of deep meaning to it. Much more deep meaning than, in my opinion, Sucker Punch did. Sucker Punch still was a very well done movie, again in my opinion, and I really did like it, and it is a solid four star, add to the collection movie, but I, I definitely can't go as far as saying it's on the caliber of, of Fight Club. So, I think really people just use that comparison because there was some awesome action in it and some delusional craziness. Secondly, or no, I can't even say secondly, I've made like a thousand points. I will say the soundtrack was really impressive. There's a, kind of ironically, also talking about Fight Club, there's a remix on the soundtrack of the Pixies' Where Is My Mind, which was a perfectly used song in Fight Club at the very end when the buildings are coming down and uh, Edward Norton shoots himself. Um, but that scene with the Pixies' Where Is My Mind is, is one of my favorite scenes, part of the reason why I love that song by the Pixies so much. And Emily Browning actually with, I think the artist's name is Yako or something like that, actually remixes Where Is My Mind. And the beginning of it is all done acoustically and is amazing. It fits the, the, the movie perfectly. As did most of the other music, honestly. The, the soundtrack to it was very well done. I really liked it. And I thought it fit the movie perfectly. So, overall, in my opinion, it was good enough to buy. I mean, that's definitely going to be one I'm going to rewatch. Just to study how they did some of the scenes and... I'm telling you, it is amazing. Like, there were scenes while I was watching the first time, I rewound just to rewatch it. It was that crazy. Same thing I did with The Matrix. Same thing I did with 300. You know, so same thing I did with Equilibrium. So, that's impressive to me. When you can get me to pause the movie to rewind, that's saying something. So, definitely let me know what you guys think. If you saw it, if you loved it, if you hated it, let me know regardless. Um, personally, I really liked it. I um, actually, I would say I loved it. I definitely, you know what, I won't even say 4 stars, it's 4.25, which I know I haven't done that, but this is my damn web show, so I can do whatever I want, and my opinion is it was a 4.25, that's kind of corny, I apologize, you know, now you're just going to make me round up, okay, it was a four and a half star movie, there you go, fine, I said it, though, some of that acting was kind of bad, I'm sticking with it, four and a half, whatever, so let me know what you guys think, if you think it was a four and a half star movie, cool, if you think it was shit, Cool. Let me know. Um, 
you know, I, I've just given my two cents and I really did like it. So definitely go red box it, blockbuster, express it, whatever, whatever. Definitely check it out. Um, there, there is some, you know, I believe it's rated PG 13, which I, I'm surprised because when it first came out, I thought it was going to be rated R, but, um, it, the, a lot of the violence wasn't like super bloody and they got away with a lot of the violence by using in the world war two scene, zombie, essentially soldiers and in the futuristic scene robots so there wasn't as much you know actual killing of people um so i think that's how they got away with it but it's pretty dark i mean there's a lot of discussion of sexual abuse of uh mental abuse emotional abuse physical abuse murder uh, it's it's pretty crazy but um it, it was very well done how they did the parallels of the two universes if you will and emily browning really impressed me she she did her thing and uh I was I was really impressed with her. She did a great job in it, as did everybody else, but especially her. So, shout out to everybody in Sucker Punch. You got a new fan. I loved it. Hopefully, there's some other fans out there, and you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, it's Friday night. We're on the couch. Or Friday afternoon, actually. You can see the light back there. See? So, Friday afternoon, we on the couch. It's a weekly movie review with Matthew Maley. This week, we reviewed Sucker Punch. I'm giving it four and a half stars. That's right. Finally reviewed a good movie. Had a run of the garbage, but finally had a good one. So, thanks for checking out my video, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think the soundtrack was good or garbage? Either way, just let me know. And uh, thanks, as always, for checking out my videos. So, as you've seen from past reviews, if you have anything that you want me to review specifically, let me know. I'll happily check it out. And, uh, of course, check out my other videos. If you're up on YouTube right now, like, comment, subscribe. And you can always search for the rest of my videos at Matthew Maley Poker. If you're up on Facebook, like me at Matthew Maley Poker. Twitter, follow your boy at Matthew Maley. And, of course, MatthewMaley.com. So, once again, I'm going. Have a great weekend, y'all. Peace.